girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well okay i cannot do a christmas black friday week without going to blooming asda and if you saw the thumbnail you will know there is gonna be a new addition to the family got a little carried away i have two bags which one is you can just hear the clinking it's quite heavy and then oh god please don't smash anything something here we have a little guy hanging out of now the only thing i'm gonna lie my lovelies asda you're killing my christmas fry because you don't do christmas bags please if there's anything you can do next year just a bit of red that's all i'm asking for a bit of red a bit of green a bit of blue even silver i can't <laughs> i can't be doing it with these fruit bags it's just ruining my vibe full of festivities inside and the bags screaming summer to me so my lovelies we may not have a christmas tree from this one if you remember not last year the year before or was it the year before was it last year i can't remember when did i get the christmas tree no it wasn't last year because i had red hair it was not last year the year before when i bought the big christmas tree i had red hair with the orange jumper one of my first big christmas videos and yes you all seem to love it so every Mm, i'd say more in the autumn and winter months you see a little bit of asda homeware i do tend to pop to george every pretty much season because i just like that stuff so we've got a few bits to try on got plenty of homeware we've got quite a lot of mugs i know you're probably screaming at the screen right now to be like you don't need any more but i got some so yeah get comfy because i have a feeling it's gonna be a long one my lovelies <laughs> right i think we might as well just start with the main guy himself because i know you're all gonna be wondering we have a new santi in the family don't we he is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous now i will put it out there i think as to do some of the most affordable santas well why am i calling you santa you're santi you've always been a santi in our house um growing up my nan and granddad absolutely loved santas singing santas and i wish i just wish we'd kept one um my nan got rid of them all once my granddad passed she was like i hate them things and they all went and i was like no i wish i'd have kept one so we got a little santi if you remember last year oh my god you're all going all over the place guy and it was a little red one kind of gave me like elton john vibes and i think that was like eight or nine pound that's now living in where does he live i think he lives in the bathroom but i saw this one and guys i don't think this is bad value at all he was 12 pound and he's like a big guy now i don't know if this bag is with him because it was in the box and i don't know what else it could have come off so i've just chucked the bag on him but i think it is possibly linked to him because he's got the uh, rope around here. He's got his little gloves on. I mean, he's just adorable, ain't he? He's holding his, like, fire stick. He's got his little bucket of snowballs. And then his little uh, holdall of his berries and pine cones. And look at his little booties. I mean, oh. This is giving me, like, Home Sense vibes. Because Home Sense do nice little Santas as well. But I would go to say that I think Asda does the best Santas. And for value. The range do some lovely Santas. You have to get them on the offer though at the range because I think the range are about 25 to 30 pounds. I know we got one, I'm going to say last year, the big silver Santa. And that was down, I think, from 30 or 35 down to 20. 20 quid I don't mind spending for a big Santa. But when they're like 25, 30, I have to, have to reconsider a little bit. Oh right i did buy a few mugs okay don't shout at me don't shout at me online with our start there was an option to buy a set of four christmas style mugs so of course i had to buy a set of four so the first one that was in the set of four was a little snowman how gorgeous and these are definitely going to be ones when i move out i'm going to sound like a broken record but 
I've got plenty of mugs out there at the moment that are my go-to classics. I'm sure there's probably going to be some mugs when I go to HomeSense and TK Maxx. But these I really feel are for when I move out. So I do want to keep some bits so that they are unused in a way. But yeah, that was the first one. And you will see the others. They're scattered amongst the bags. So we're just going to go with it. <laughs> Did I need another cushion? No. Did I see it and fall in love? Yes. A little gingerbread cushion. Guys, how cute. This was £5. They did have ones that were like in the shape of gongs and candy canes, which I think were around £8, £9. But I just thought he is perfect to go out on the 1st of December when the whole bedding changes. The only thing, right, I kind of mess up, I think, with my bedding because it's going to be colder in December. But I've got my teddy bear set on now. Because my Christmas set is, I think it's just a plain one. It's not even like brushed cotton. So I'm definitely going to have to layer up with like cushions and throws. So they stay toasty warm. But yeah. And it gave me Shrek vibes. We all know Shrek is one of my favourite films. And it gave me uh, little gingy vibes. Cute, right? And if you don't like that and you just want a plain, kind of like candy cane vibe, you can just reverse it. But I would like to have him out. I'm going to put you there. You will not be going on the bed just yet. Because you don't go with the whole like woodland animal vibe. You will have to come out at Christmas when everything is like bright red. And that's how we will go. I bought another Christmas tree decoration. <laughs> they had a really good selection this year. Um, Some were really gimmicky but some I was just like oh. This was two pound and it is a little faux fur style. Well it's not little. Oh I'm getting covered. I should not have worn a brand new black dress. When I'm dealing with snow and glitter. Oh Lord, heaven forbid, I'm going to have to get the roller on it. I never think these through. Through? Blah, 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 blah. I never think these things through, do I? But yeah, it's quite a large star. And I like these because sometimes where you have the gaps on the tree, you just need a big decoration just to take that bit. And he matched Santi with the whole like snowy faux fur vibe. So yes, very, very happy with him got a bit of clothing yes i did indeed um all of the clothing i will do like little try on clips to show you my lovelies but <sighs> you're probably thinking shan that is so tacky i got a little black sequined sleeve shoulder cardigan don't ask me why this just screamed christmas to me however it is so soft like really really nice cable knit i picked mine up in a size small which is eight to ten and it was 16 pound now quite pricey for a cardigan but it does feel nice quality it has got the sequins it is almost like a bat wing with a cuff at the bottom so i'm hoping it gets a thumbs up as i say you would have seen thumbs up thumbs down actually that could quite go with what i'm wearing now i've got pearls on so why not just add a little bit of sparkle in it as well love that i do love a bit of asda at uh, christmas time as i say i like that clothing all year round but christmas time is where it's at is where it's at my lovelies now if you have seen the asda christmas advert oh wow we've gone very overexposed let's have a look at my wrinkly hand and try and get down to yeah not casper vibes um if you've seen the asda christmas video this year you know that they have kind of partnered up with elf if you know me, Elf and the Grinch, I can't choose between them, okay? They are both my top Christmas films, kind of for different moods. Elf is when I need to pick me up, like Elf will make me smile no matter what. And the Grinch is kind of just like nostalgic, just like childhood, you know? The one that you cozy up with your mulled wine. Used to be hot chocolate back in the day. As you've grown older, you've gone onto the mulled wine and just sitting there with your big sweet bucket, loving life. So, of course, if Elf is partnering with Asda, I can't go to Asda or shop online and not pick something Elf up. Now, my lovelies, there was blooming everything Elf. They had this mug also in green, but I like a festive red. I believe this was slightly pricier because it is a almost like a collab with them. But the... where are we? £3. So, not terrible, but it is quite pricey, I would say, just for a mug. However... They had matching pyjamas, they had throws, slippers, toys, everything. I could have got very carried away and got a whole bedding set, but I was like, no. 
we're just going to stick with the elf mug. And mum said, oh, can I have that? I was like, of course you can. Because we all know mum loves a bit of elf. And she will continue to love elf forever and a day. Got another jumper. But um, this one's kind of more like a sweat vibe. But look at the message, my lovelies. Is that not just me? Is that not just me? Mold wine. Love the colour. Love the burgundiness. The sleeves go down and are cuffed, which is great because I have short arms. So that is exactly what I need. Pick this one up in a size small and it was £14. It's not like a thick, thick jumper, but it is very soft inside. You know when it has the, um, almost, is it like fleecing? You see that, my lovelies? It's got the soft fleecing inside. So this, I think, is a perfect top just to chuck on with some leggings. Oh, my God. Go into a Christmas market, chuck on a body warmer, a little beanie hat. It's going to look fabulous. I will insert a try on clip there of me wearing it. But, yeah, I don't think that was too bad. I do find that some type of, like, Christmas jumpers are excessively expensive. And I don't know why. Like, I think... What would you say is an average price for a Christmas jumper? I would go up to maximum, absolute maximum 20 quid if I really liked it. But, I mean, you see them in Primark and they're like 12, 14 pound and they're really, really cute. So I don't think you need to pay over the odds for Christmas jumpers now because you can get them in pretty much any of the high street stores. But, hey-ho, let me know what you would say is an acceptable amount to spend on a Christmas jumper. Now, you know when I said some of the tree decorations were gimmicky? Welcome to Gimmicky Central. I got myself a baby Yoda. Always oh, spinning around. You spin my hair right round, right round, like a record baby when you go down, down. Anyway, before Shan starts getting carried away, I got a baby Yoda hanging decoration. Now he was four pound. You was pricey little fella, weren't you? But the thing is, he's quite weighty. So I kind of want to put him on the tree now. Oh my goodness, I almost just dropped him. That would not have been good. But I don't know where to put him on the tree because he's heavy. So I know he's a little bit pricey, but he is weighty. And I don't quite know where to put him where he's not going to droop the tree down. Do you put him on the bottom? I want him where I can see him. Could he maybe go there and I'll just sit him... And I can just sit you on this little branch here. Oh, God, no, you're going to fall off. There we go. I'll just put him and he's just going to chew on a little branch there. Don't squash the rose. There we go. See, I'm pretty much adding to the tree on every hall now, right now. I'm like, oh, we'll just put that on. At the start, I think I'm going to put in the main tree. So I'm not going to put that on just yet. And then out of the set of four mugs... If you've got a snowman, you get a Santa. Now, you're probably looking at that and thinking, my goodness, that is a huge mug. Well, first off, it's cut out the back. How blooming amazing is that? And it's not a full mug. So the drinking only kind of comes down to about here because obviously it's cut out for there. So you still get a good sized drink in there. But I didn't even realise that that was cut out when I bought it. When I was unpacking it, I was like, oh! shut up like come on i love that and it is a good size mug like look you can barely you can't even put your hands around well just about you gotta cover santi he's a good mug oh god this is why i think they're definitely mugs when i move out because they are just they're the epitome of what you're gonna get out of the cupboards and love life with and be like oh my god i need to change everything in the house to blooming santa claus but what I need to do is go and get some little bed socks on my tootsies. Because I don't know about you, my lovelies. It's cold. Cold, cold, cold. And today is Sunday. So today is treat day. Me and mum put the heat on for a few hours of the evening when we're having our evening baths. And yeah, but for now, my feet are a little bit icy. So let's go and put some sockies on and we'll come back because this bag is the jam-packed one. Let me tell you that. <laughs> right. So... This is where it gets a little bit of everything and anything. Let's start off with something simple. I've got another tree deck. You all know, guys, I love clip-on flowers. I don't know what it is. If I could have a whole tree of just clip-on flowers, birds, butterflies, everything, I would do. This was £1.50, which I don't think is too bad. You can, however, have it as a hanging decoration. 
So there is the little um, candy cane ribbon on there if you didn't want to have it as a clip-on. But me, that is going to be a clip-on. And oh my, well, could I have two flowers next door to each other? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Let's put that there. And it's either going to go there, but then I think it's clashing with the flower. Or it can clip on there. Right, it's going to clip on there. Let's um, take this tag off, my lovelies. Look, we are just adding to the tree. Do I take... Um, do I cut that off? Because it is always nice to have the option. Just in case next year it goes on the big tree. But... Oh. Put it there. Oh, I love it. Love it. You just, you're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, what on earth? Yes. Oh no, but I've got a big red flower there. Oh, we're kind of clashing now. I didn't think of that. Oh. I'm going to have to figure it out after because we might be clashing with like two red flowers. But I do like red. Why not? Why can you not have two red flowers? No, nope, I think I'm going to leave it. Hi, my name is Shannon and... Oh my God, no it is not. Shut up. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. A battery operated LED gnome. This was £5, okay? I just bought this thinking it was a gonk. Look how cute it is. But it's saying that it's battery LED. How? <gasps> Guys! You lift up his bead! <gasps> right, I can't do this now because I need a screwdriver. But, oh god, and I've got all fluff in my hair. That is genius. And it must be his little beard lights up because all the lights are underneath. <gasps> oh my god, guys, for £5, a light up gonk. Right, let's just take your tag off because I ain't taking your back so everyone can see you fully. £5 just for that gonk itself is fabulous because that is a good size. The fact that it lights up as well, I mean, I can't wait. I hope mum's got some batteries in the house. <gasps> Best believe you're going to be seeing this little guy on Vlogmas. I cannot believe that. Five pound. I wish I would have got more now. Oh my God, I might have to go and start. I've really got itchy nose now. Don't do this when there's all fluff everywhere. I might have to go into Asda in store and try and pick another one of them up. Because they'd be so cute in the hallway, wouldn't they? <gasps> Oh, see, Asda, Asda is the place to be, my lovelies. Let me tell you that. Right. Um, what do we have? What do we have? We have another one of the mugs. I don't think I said, but the set of four Christmas mugs was fourteen pound, so that's three fifty a mug, which. For the size of them is really good. Now, if you remember last year, I picked up this in the plate form, the big gingerbread house plate. I am still eyeing up the actual proper gingerbread house. Again, something like that I feel is something when I move out. However, it's been going for years. So now, the next mug in the collection is the little gingerbread house. How cute is that? Again, great size just to do all your hot chocolates on oh my god it's just i'm in my element i'm in my absolute element i don't know if you can tell but especially with asda as well i really enjoy their products i love going there as well because i can get loads of food which have you seen all of the shop's christmas food coming out i've seen so far online sainsbury's iceland m&s and asda i haven't seen much of tesco yet i don't know if they've released their food but here is what I'm thinking, because I'm in a right predicament with food. We all know me and Mum G love our food, and over Christmas time, we especially do. Now, we are having our 24 hours of Christmas food, so there will be stuff that we will buy purely just for that video that is like pure creme de la creme Christmas food. However, I'm thinking of maybe including within Vlogmases or separate videos i'm not too sure because i have actually planned out a video for every day of december so it might be if i change it to say having like a dedicated video i don't know for like 
M&S Christmas food or Sainsbury's Christmas food, I will have to change my upload slightly or potentially include a lot more dinners in Vlogmas. What do you think? You're still getting your 24 hours eating Christmas food regardless, but there is a lot of food that I want to try and it's going to be a lot, it's going to be too much food for 24 hours. So I'm thinking either have a jig around and cancel some of the uploads that I had planned to put in for food uploads or would you rather just see them if we say once a week was like right so this week for dinner we're tasting Sainsbury's and that's what you get throughout the vlogmases so let me know down below as I say because vlogmas starts next week so I need to need to try and get prepared you know but anyway moving swiftly on because Shannon Lee Shannon Lee now online asda always has sales on their candles always so i picked up the yankee candle this is a classic every year without a fail apple cinnamon cider so this is the large yankee and this is the yankee candle home inspirations range so it is proper yankee but it seems to be the branding that they put within supermarkets so this is what you will get in the likes of like tesco's and sainsbury's as well however Oh, it's just gorgeous. And my one at the moment, oh, it always makes my nose itchy when I smell a candle. My one at the moment, Holiday Berry, is pretty much running down. So I think, yes, I think this is going to be the contender for replacement. But guys, online, they always have a selection, £10. £10. If you know someone who is an avid candle lover and you're doing like maybe a hamper or a stocking filler or a secret Santa that is where you need to go look in the likes of as i say tesco's asda i don't know if sainsbury's do yankee candles i think it might just be asda and tesco who do the yankee home inspirations but definitely give them a go because for 10 pound you cannot go wrong i mean candles are getting pricey nowadays and we need to we need to cut that out because we can't be paying that money. It's either we're giving the money to British Gas or we're giving the money to the shops. I'd rather give the money to the shops, but I like to feel like I'm saving a bargain, you know? Oh, I, this is what I have been looking forward to. Yep, there is a lot more mugs in here. That is what you are hearing clanging around. Let's just stay there. Stay. I picked up some potpourri. So this is spiced berry potpourri. This is £3 for 200 grams, which I don't think is bad at all. Oh, the box is cracked so I can smell it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to put it in and spread it out over on the vases because I just like this. They do have a lot of um, different styles of potpourri and they're always like colour themed. So there's one that's like grey. There's like a neutrally style one. But of course, I had to go for the spiced berries very very cute what does it say a vibrant blend of juicy fruits with a twist of cozy spices three quid i don't think is bad at all um next to potpourri but i think it's like i want to say 10 or 12 pound a bag that's three pound if you had a huge vase that you just wanted to fill you could easily get three or four of them and fill them up if it was a ginormous vase you know now I got a gingerbread cushion. I had to get mum one. I had to get her a little gonk because there is something in here that is part and parcel. It's going to be like a little set. And I've just realised my hair really matches his outfit. We're twinning, mate. We're absolutely twinning. These cushions are £5, just like the gingerbread. But on the reverse, it is a plain green one. So if you're not a fan of the gonks, you can go for plain green. But as I say... I think she's going to love that because I don't know if the Matalan Hall would have been up yet or after. I managed to get her a gonk throw. She's got the cushion. So that means I got her a bedding set. So I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll treat her to a new little bedding set because I said to her, what do you want? She was like, nothing. And she don't like her room decorated. So I was like, you know what, we'll get you a nice new bedding set, get you in the festive spirit. This was £12 for a duvet set in Asda. It's not like brushed cotton or anything. It's just a normal cotton one. But guys, look how cute it is. So you've got all the gonks there, as you can see. And then the reverse of it is red with white stars. So that ties in very well with the cushion. And then the throw that I've got her has gonks, but it's very neutral. So it can just run along the bottom. But yeah. Asda again, I would say they're homeware for like bedding sets, 
oh top notch i saw that they done another teddy bear one if you remember on the autumnal haul i bought the dark green teddy bear one with like white leaves on this year for christmas they've got a gray one with big snowmen on it's 30 pound for a double and i was so so tempted but i thought no i have my proper christmasy bedding for christmas so i um withdrew myself let's just say but i thought yeah so mum's got a whole new gog bedding set which no doubt you will see in vlogmas because she'll probably be tucked up in there most mornings when i come through right and then the last mug out of the christmas mug selection is a gonk so we have a gonk and i love this because it's got like his little sleeping cap on <laughs> so we've got a gonk a gingerbread house and a snowman and then we've got a big santa claus with a little cookie biscuit slot at the back I mean, you just can't go wrong. For 350 I do think they're very, very good quality mugs. For the size, the detailing that's gone in them, I do think top-notch, as they're all right, top-notch. Now, I picked up some PJs because you all know if you've seen the vlogs, me and mum, we have a new pair of PJs to decorate the tree, and they are what we will wear throughout, like, November and December. And then we do always have a new pair for Christmas Eve that we wear Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because... We don't get dressed in this household, okay? We like to be comfy. Now, I've picked these up for me because the sizing is kind of awkward for mum's size. The, in Asda, they kind of like skip the size that she is. So if these fit and look nice, I'm going to say to mum, look, we'll go in and then she can try them on and she can get the matching ones. But, oh God, I picked up mine in a size 8 to 10 because it was either 8 to 10 or 12 to 14. Well, I'm normally a 10 to 12, so I was in the middle. So I thought, you know what? They look really oversized. These were 10 pad, which I don't think is too bad. Some matching pyjamas you can pay an absolute fortune on. And you see that? I've only got mince pies for you. Mince pies is cockney slang for eyes, if you didn't know that. And I liked it because it's still cuffed on the arm. And the bottoms, if we lift them up, you'll see more in the trial clip anyway. But the bottoms are cuffed again and they've got all mince pies on them so i thought they were just really cute and as i say for a tenner i don't think that's too bad at all so if they fit and they look nice i'll be like mum we're gonna go and i found the other christmas pajamas i really wanted to get a pair of like brush cotton tartany ones and i saw them in boo avenue but they were like almost 30 pound and i get it it's because the quality and they're nice but we literally wear them christmas eve christmas day maybe boxing day and then they just get put in the drawer as like a pajama throughout the year so we do want to have maybe i said to mum whenever i move out probably sound like a broken record again but the first christmas away then we'll get like nice proper matching pjs we'll go all out and we'll have a nice little cozy time let's just say and then the last two things i picked these up i want to say last year when it was autumn and halloween I didn't realise until I went online that they had these in a Christmas style. However, they are quite pricey. You're paying because it is a brand. So I got a bowl and a mug set. The bowl was £3.75 and the mug was £5. But if I had the Halloween version, I had to get the Christmas one. Guys, it is the Harry Potter Hogwarts Christmas set. And it's almost like Zodiac. I don't know. Is it going to... I'd rather stay at Hogwarts. But can you see this? This is all like the houses. How cute. So the Halloween one is grey. With just like all random like owls, letters, wands. Everything like that around it. And then of course... I got the matching mug. So on the front part it says I'd rather stay at hogwarts at christmas and then on the back is the zodiacs of all of the houses and i love it because it's still got like the cauldron vibe with the little oh what was that off oh, i something on it with the little three spears at the bottom like the bowl they're still like cauldron which is great because you can stack them now the bowls you can actually buy online in a set of four like with the mugs so if you know someone who is an avid harry potter fan and say it's like a family of four and you want to get them some bowl sets online you get a lot more of 
the mugs, plates and everything in sets. Whereas in store, you can just pick them up singularly in that. But yeah, always have a look online because sometimes it can work out a little bit cheaper than going to the store and buying all the bits and bobs individually. But yeah, I was just when I saw that, I was like, oh, come on. I've just put away the Halloween autumn one and now I've got a Christmas one and I would love to be at Hogwarts at Christmas. I don't know about you guys, it just looks so blooming fun, doesn't it? So blooming fun. And i tell you what does look fun, my countertop, because it is filled. It's filled with Santis, gogs. I still can't believe for a fiver that lights up. As I say, stay tuned on the vlogmas, you'll be seeing that. My candle, 10 pan, and of course, a huge mug selection. So my lovelies, I think that is the uh, Asda slash George Christmas haul done for 2022. So can you believe the infamous Asda haul is done? I'm not going to lie, this is probably one of my favourite Christmas hauls to do, along with the range. Asda and the range, I really do think just smash it out of the park at Christmas. Um, Asda... Around autumn time, they do do good. However, I do feel like this year, all the shops just kind of skipped autumn and Halloween and they've just gone full into Christmas mode all the time. But yeah, Asda and the range are up there with me for the Christmas homewares and also for like the affordability, for the design, for like the quality that you get for it. I really don't think you can go wrong. I mean, the £12 Santas, there's so many of them online. I wish I could have just bought the whole family, but I thought, why? we'll go with white because who knows i might end up buying some at the ideal home show or a few gongs i mean it is it is likely ain't it my lovelies it is blooming likely but if you do know anyone who loves candles and say i definitely check out george online because there's always different scents the one that seems to be in the sale all the time is a gray one and i think it's called cozy cabin i've had it before and it does smell like a very fresh scent but yeah absolutely love it and i am taking up way too much of your blooming time you know if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave me a comment what do you think of asda's christmas range and what was your favorite bit from the haul eh what could we say the word of today is what's the word of the video gingy gingy for the cushion from shrek that is going to be the word of the video. So if you have made it this far, leave it down in the comments below. And I know that you're an OG and you're going all the way and watching with me babbling on until the very end. Take care, guys. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow for another haul. Bye, guys.